we're going to start getting the rules for derivatives, where we can avoid using the limit definition and all the derivatives we take will be much easier. If f of x is differentiable, that's what I'm saying. At a, then f of x is oh. continuous <laughs> at a. So differentiable means able to differentiate, which is pretty clear from the word itself. What does it mean to differentiate something? Correct. <coughs> It means to take a derivative. 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 Okay. So in other words, if you're able to do the limiting process we talked about here a second ago, if you're able to find the slope of the curve there, then the function is continuous there. All right? You got the root of continuity from a couple days ago, right? Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> differentiability, meaning able to take a derivative, implies continuity. The reverse is not true. That's the important thing to remember, is the order. Just because something is continuous does not make it differentiable. does not make it able to take a derivative there. It may not have a slope there. So how does something not have a slope now is the question you want to ask. What's that? How does it not have a slope? Rogue asymptote? What you said? Yeah, that's, good, yeah, that's a good answer. Hold on, let me just write something very quickly. What do you think? There are cases when something cannot be differentiated, when you cannot find a derivative at a certain location on a curve. A hole? A hole? Absolutely. So we got a vertical asymptote, and a hole, and a corner. The corner is the most important one to remember. All right. There's actually one more, but we'll, we'll mention them now. When is a function not differentiable? So the reason you ask this is because I just showed you this great process to find slopes, and it could happen that you try to apply the process when it's not even legitimate. When is a function not differentiable? That is, not having a slope at a point A. Okay, so uh, for now you said one, you said there's a hole. So we can easily draw a picture here. Now there's a hole and then it starts over again and does something else. Good example. Hole. Why does this not have a slope? The, the main reason, because it doesn't exist. It does exist, right there. So the main reason is because this limit that we're taking for the derivative is a standard limit. So it has to be the same from both sides. Right? It must be the same from both sides to exist. And in this case, if you took the limit as the function approaches here from the left to find this particular derivative, it would appear to be a certain slope like this. But over here, it would appear to be a certain slope like this. So the slopes would not be the same. They would not be approaching the same value from both sides. So therefore, the limit overall, meaning, when I say limit, I mean the limit definition of derivative now, right? Would not exist, right? Because it's talking about what are these slopes approaching. The slope that approaches from the left is approaching, I guess, zero. And the slope approaching from the right is approaching, I guess, about one. Since they are not the same, the overall limit for the derivative does not exist. So the derivative does not exist there. A hole. Very last one. Very association. Very last one. What's the limit approaching? Infinity. Infinity. On this side, it's approaching. Positive infinity. And this side is approaching negative infinity. And either way, it's infinity. It's going downwards. Right? What's that? No, zero is this way. The slope of zero is horizontal. Right? Either way, it's approaching an infinite value. So therefore, that limit does not exist. Right? So the derivative is a limit, which is what it is. Not if it's going to be infinite, it doesn't exist. Right? We said D and E for all infinite limits, right? Okay. Fine. Yeah, okay, sir. 
Who said the other guy? Someone said something. What did you say? Corner. Corner. Thank you. Say corner. Yeah. All right. Corner. Corner is an important one. And the classic case of the corner is going to be absolute value function. We want to keep that in mind. We're going to call this, instead of a corner, we're going to call it a cusp. Okay? Cusp. This is similar a little bit to what I said about the hole over here. That example of a hole. Anyway, what happens? As you push from the left, and so you want to find the slope right here at zero. We'll find the slope at zero. As you push from the left hand side, what is the slope approaching? Negative one, right? All the time you're traveling closer to zero, this slope of this part of the function is negative one. It doesn't change. It's always negative one. And if you push from this side, what is the slope? It's always positive one. So it's approaching positive one. So now they're not approaching. This was approaching negative one as a slope from the left, and this side's approaching one. The right, since those are not the same limits, negative one one the same, the limit overall does not exist. I mean the derivative. There is a limit. Okay. That would be true for all cusps. In other words, any abrupt change in the curve, abrupt change in the curve, is going to cause it to be not differentiable. Yeah. So if you make a straight You have this picture. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, it'll be on the left and right side. Sasha. See what I mean? I don't know what you were saying. That curve will go underneath. This curve? Yeah, it'll go underneath. The line at the top. Underneath these lines? Yeah. It'll curve. Yeah. 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 Well, this is not the tangent. Yes. Yeah, so like this, this is the function itself. Yeah, this so is absolute value. Would you ever have to use two functions to find the point? You're just given a function instead of a hand model. No, I don't think so. No. It's like an angry face here. Right. Right. There's one more case. That is, it is similar to the vertical asymptote, an infinite slope. It doesn't have to be a vertical tangent that causes that to happen. Could be the curve does this, and um, root of x is a good example. The curve right here at zero becomes vertical. For that brief moment, right? So the tangent lines here, right? They're all good. Everything's fine. Everything's hunky dory. But as you get closer and closer to zero, suddenly the tangent line becomes vertical. All right? So what's the slope of a vertical line? Undefined. Undefined. And since our derivative is the slope of this function, the slope of this line, the tangent line of this function, it's also undefined. Okay? So derivative does not exist there. These are the four cases where derivative does not exist. Now, two of these 